Welcome everyone to Fallout number 10. We are doing really well for ourselves. In the last episode, we got a bunch of guns and shit that were worth a lot of money, some explosives. And we're a melee build, so we don't need any of that shit. So we made out like bandits, we're full health, got three stim. We were in a bad way, now we're in a great way. We're doing wonderful. Um, the problem is, number one, we finished exploring the vault. No water chip. I didn't see any water chips. Now, I might just be looking in the wrong place. Because it didn't say, like, hey, there's no water chip, dumbass. But I'm assuming there's no water chip because I didn't find it, right? Second thing, we got back and there's, like, this sweet lady somewhere in here named Tandy. Over here. Oh, shit. Is that Tandy? Wait, what? Hey, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Wait, hang on. Okay. So, this lady. So, we met Tandy a couple episodes ago. Then this lady said Tandy was taken. Am I missing something here? Hang on. Hang on. That says Tandy, right? T-A-N-D-I. You got some explaining to do. Hang on, where where are we? Gotta get out here. We gotta talk to Katrina, dude. What the fuck you lying to me for? Let's see what you have to say for yourself. I need help finding Tandy. I da What? I think it was one of the raider groups who took her. She's right here. She's here. Hey, are, um, Tandy, are you aware that someone thinks you're missing and abducted by raiders? That's a valid question I can ask you. Stop walking. I had this problem last Hello time. Hello again. Here. What can I help you with now? Can I ask you a few more questions? Sure, I guess. Why the I've fuck aren't you here, so abducted by I'm raiders? Happening. That's my question. So, what you need? You're not missing. Well, thanks for talking. Weird. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Hmm. <sighs> See ya. Okay, well, apparently she's here, so that's been solved. So, um, let's see. We have a couple places on our map we can go to, but I kind of want to check out... I was told there are Brahma pens up north where the stench is quite bad this time of year, I'm afraid. And then we have some gardens down to the south. So I don't see where the Brahma pens would be because that's just world. Although uh, this might be the same story here. So let's go out here and see if this takes us anywhere. Okay, so here's the gardens. Are the Brahma pens up this way maybe? Oh yeah, there they are. And the gardens. Cool, cool. There's a whole other area. I see dog. Alright, well, look at this. There's a whole fucking other part of this town. It just doesn't take us to the overworld. I figured it would. How are you? How are you? Who are you? Welcome to Shady Sands, stranger. Who are you? I didn't see your name. What's the deal with this place? We're true community. We do. We all work and share together. Fucking commies. How do you survive out here? We have farms and irrigation, and we herd Brahmin. Everyone contributes their skills to make something useful. They are commies, dude. From each according to their abilities to each according to their need. Fuck you, communists. God damn USSR shit out here. Um, how do you survive out here? Well, well I mean, he kind of told you, didn't he? Uh, okay. Uh, who's your leader? Eridesh is our current elder. With his experience, he helps to lead the community. Well, that wasn't very helpful, was it? Um, I can't, I still can't sleep. It's very annoying, actually. But is there anyone worth talking to? Uh, there's a peasant. There's a citizen. Are you also a citizen of Shady Sands? I'm going to assume you were. So it doesn't look like there's anything good out here. So current issues we have. Number one, water chip, right? Number two, um, the uh, rad scorpion infestation. Number three, the raiders apparently are, are hitting us hard. So um, you see the water supply to Shady Sands. This is the little water. Oh, this is too little water to supply your vault. Well, I mean, logically, right? I mean, we need a purifier. I see a cart. A crude but effective um, agricultural cart. Here's a Brahmin I can talk to, apparently. How's it going, buddy? You can't get there. Well, of course I can. Peasant, peasant. Are you anything? Are you a citizen? Okay, what do we got here? Plant. It looks like a mutated cabbage to you. It seems to be thriving in the warm weather. A mutated corn stalk. It seems to be thriving under these conditions. And that is all there is to this area, minus... 
uh, down here we have a thing. So let's come over to the thing. Can't go any here, anywhere over to here, though. There we go. There we go. Now we can come over here, right? Come on over. Okay, what's going on in here? I'm busting in. Who's in here? I can't see anything. What is that? You see a bowl, a finely crafted wooden bowl. This looks like it was designed to crush and separate grains. Well, that's wonderful. Um, I don't see anything in here, though. Yeah, this is empty. So, it must just be like a kitchen or something. I don't fucking know. So, okay, well, that was Shady Sands. Uh, let's get out of here, then. Let's, uh, let's bounce. Not much else to see here. So, I don't really know where to go next. Um... We got a couple options for where we can go. But I kind of want to handle those uh, little side questies a little bit. So what we're going to do is come out to the main area out here. This is very different from the other Fallout games. In the other Fallout games, they really kind of walk you through the story. Whereas here, I'm kind of making the story work. <laughs> like, I, like, I don't know where to fucking go. I guess I just got to go somewhere I don't know I've been talking to people maybe someone's figured it out so the first thing I want to do is I kind of want to check out this rad scorpion problem as a matter of fact um, I should talk to Seth because maybe he can help me with the rad scorpions um, I'm feeling a little bit more confident although in saying that I should probably swap this out for a uh, for this although although in saying that would it would you feel like it would be more dangerous to have a rad scorpion or a raider fight I don't know. I at least know rad scorpions. I don't know what raiders are like in this game. And that's a little scary to me. I feel like I might go for the rad scorpions here. Let's talk to Seth. Leader of the guards of Shady Sands. Uh, take me to the rad scorpion caves. Are you sure you want me to give you directions to the rad scorpion caves? I can't go, but I can show you the way. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. 5 AP to use this. 3 for the... Uh, how much for the spear? 4 for the spear. Okay. So that's not totally undoable. We got you in here. Let's see cave wall and I see bones. What are we working with? There's one, two red scorpions. There's what is that ammo? It's ten millimeter hollow point. Does not help here because I need armor piercing. I'm assuming. So let's come over here. It doesn't look like there's a lot of red scorpions. I was, I guess, I was kind of picturing like a red scorpion flood. So if we can kind of come over here, this might be the best option for us. If I can just kind of get an angle on the guy. What's my negative, negative 31% chance. Okay, apparently I'm going to fucking shoot myself if I do this here. So let's not. Let's come this way. Let's see what we can do. Why are you reloading? You are really into that. Um, I really... The last thing I want to be doing right now is fighting two rad scorpions at once. So I really am not interested in this. I'm kind of wanting just to get the attention of one of them if I could. I really don't want to bother both of them. Come on, guys. Are you really going to do this to me? Let's come this way. Let's kind of come around the back here. Oh, is that something? Oh, that's uh, hollow points. So what do I have to do here? Just kill all the rad scorpions, I guess? This seems like a really fucking dangerous job, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're up. We're up. We're up. Okay, this costs 5 AP. What's, what's our distance here? Three, so I can't attack this guy. But I can definitely shoot you. Um, I missed. Well, that's a shame. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to walk away. We're going to walk away here. Oh, shit. Look at him go. Ow. Ow. Look at him. Holy shit, Ian. You fucking crazy man. Holy shit. It's hit the hind legs for six. Wait, is there a way to do vats here? I have a 9% chance of hitting. What are you, crazy? I'm not taking that. What happens if I go up two? What are my chances now? 17%. I really need to be up his ass, don't I? That is a shame, isn't it? Well, let's still take a shot. So let's go up another two. 
And that should be good enough to take a shot here. 25%. Oh, I hit. Oh, shit. Five pinpoints and kill. Ooh. Ooh. I feel pretty fucking good about this mission all of a sudden. I think I'm going to take that. All right. Let's, um... Let's uh, fight this bad boy over here. This mother effer. Uh, what do you got for me? Uh, 5%. I'm not taking that. I can sneak, though. Can I sneak over to him? Oh, shit. No, I can't. He's he's on to us. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How much damage does a spear do now that we're in range? I can thrust. Four points? That's not bad. I'll take another hit. Four. One point. Okay, that's pretty bad. Let's get out of here. <laughs> my, to my one tile. <laughs> Ian's a psycho! What the fuck, dude? And I think I can still hit him, right? Oh, I missed that one. Well, I don't want to move anymore because the Brad Scorpion seems like he is not interested in walking anywhere. Although, I guess I will walk one away. Because then that might pre prevent him from... Yeah, there we go. He only got one hit in. Hell Yes! Hell yes, this is fantastic. So give me that tail. Hell to the yes. Let's get this ammo. Nothing else. I can just use it for bartering. This is great. Dude, melee is actually pretty fun. I'm not going to lie to you. I've I've enjoyed using the spear and knife more than I have the uh, guns. All right, so that's it for over here. So let's go up a little bit further north. This job is not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I guess it is it is early game, so it would be a little bit unfair to just drop, like, 20 rad scorpions on you. <laughs> he said, having having had four rad scorpions dropped on him as soon as he left Vault 13. All right, we got a bit of a fork up here. We have one rad scorpion kind of dicking his own butt over here. So let's, uh, let's try this out. See if I can get his attention. And, uh, yeah, hell yeah, we did. He's on his way. He's coming. He's coming. And, uh, how, how far is this? One, two. Can I make this? Is that out of range? Shh, what a shame. Ian, I could use you, buddy, but that's okay. Let's get closer by one. Thrust him. Oh, critically hit for 14 points. Striking through the tough carapace without pausing. Without even pausing. I just saw the care pass. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking sh sh strike right through that tough shit. I'm not even gonna pause about it, right? Holy shit! Can we just say that this finesse trait has worked out way better than I said it would a few episodes ago? I'm really glad about that. I missed. Ian, Ian, don't shoot me, Ian! I remember. Oh god. Oh shit. Do you? Oh my god. I have like PTSD now if I'm between this guy and the fucking target. Oh my god. This is this fucking. Dude, Ian is damn good in combat, but holy shit, he is, he is the most wildest of wild cards that I've ever seen. He will go when you have three health, and he's going to pull you by the ear and fucking drag you into combat. And he will also shoot you, but damn, does he do some high damage. <laughs> I mean, can you argue with the results? Um, I don't really know the best way to approach this here. Um, damn, that's a lot of scorpions. Okay, this is definitely, like, the final fight here. Um, I kind of just want to wait here. Yeah, okay, there we go. This strat seems to work. Just kind of wait, and they'll come to you. And, um, I feel like this is too far away, so let's move up by one here. And then I should be able to hit and get two attacks in still. It's good. Seven damage. I need to start counting my cards. That's 14. That's 17. What? Why'd he walk up? 17 plus 7 is 24 and 5 hit points. So maybe they have 25 health. That would seem reasonable to me. Can we end combat all together? Because I don't think anything else is on to us right now. So that's awesome. Okay, let's check this guy out. Get his tail. Apparently I'm still carrying a shit ton of stuff, so that's cool. Um, I definitely want to get away from these guys if I can, but I don't want to go too far. I just want to be noticed by this scorpion, but I don't... Ooh, that guy's really checking us out over here. Ah, sweet. We got him. Okay. That's all I wanted. I just don't want him to attack us. Oh, my God. It works perfectly. This strat is definitely how you do it. And let's uh, walk away.
You know, just force it. Just force it to come to you. Okay, let's end our combat. Check out our bounty. This guy has not been taking part of the loot, and I don't know why. Maybe if I get, like, caps off someone, he'll take half of them or something. I don't know. But, um, that's something. Okay, let's come over here before this rad scorpion sees us. In fact, let's come into the corner. And while we're in the corner, we are going to go ahead and save our game. We're going to call it... Uh, what are we going to call it? We're going to call it... Something a little bit less obnoxious. How about, um, the rad scorpion... Uh, Grim Reaper. That's 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 like two percent less obnoxious. We'll take that. All right, folks. This has been one of those parts. I think number ten was this part. We're gonna do the next part next time. We're gonna finish these caves. Go back to Eridesh, and he's gonna give us a blowjob. I think will be our payment. I hope. I already agreed to do this without payment on accident. So, I the blowjob is the least I can hope for. All right. So we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.